Welcome to this new feature video for Magic Art for AutoCAD 2018. We'll be looking at the uh, possibility to create similar circuits for communication and data devices as we already have for power devices. And um, let's see how to actually create them. Um, in this project, I've already made a few, few uh, adjustments before we go any further. I've um, attached those um, two data sockets there to the uh, to the project but uh, that's still unconnected so let's start drawing the um, cable from it first I'll just uh, quickly draw it there and uh, let's attach it to a circuit give it a circuit number oh, let's see cable number yeah there should be next three is one cable is all right uh, then what I'll do is I'll connect it to a cable packet, which is this one here. And as I do that, it also detects the uh, host device for the uh, for my circuit here, which is DP1, as in data panel 1. And I'm also using this uh, symbol here, which shows me the, uh, the panel and the cable type that I'm using. It's now it should be connected to the uh, both the data panel and the uh, cable packet. It is also possible to to create circuits without actually uh, connecting to them to the uh, cable packet, as I've done here. As you can see, it's not connected, uh, and also directly draw the the cable from the device to the ca cable packet. That's also an option here. So now that all these three devices are, are connected to the uh, data panel and, uh, and uh, let's see how to actually then uh, apply these changes. I'll start with the update drawing and I'll, I'll concentrate on the cable properties here. So I'm going to update circuit references based on data cable connections and the connection data of all cables. And I'm going to run it on current drawing. Uh, and why am I doing this is that I'm... Uh, uh, adding the information from the circuits to the actual devices so that now they should be connected. And as we can see, if I check it from one of the uh, data sockets, the host device is set as DP1, as it should be. Good. Uh, then, after that, let's uh, check the uh, connection report for them. And uh, it's also possible to check not only from this drawing, but from all model drawings in this project to check all the devices from them. So make sure that I have all model drawings in there. Click OK. And I can now see all the uh, all the connected devices. Three uh, sockets from the current drawing and three from this E floor two drawing as well. And what we see here is the uh, cable numbers, cable types, the lengths, of course, uh, systems, and then the uh, the IDs for the actual device as well. Uh, looks like one of the uh, one of the data sockets which is in the current drawing is without a cable number and also without a uh, an ID here. It's showing the user code instead of an ID. So let's zoom into that one. Let's close it for now. Okay, it's that one. Let's make a few changes to it. Okay, the object ID is, is using the override function. We'll take that away. And uh, as this circuit was also the one that wasn't connected to the cable packet, so maybe I want to do that. I'll just select connect, show the cable packet now connected. Uh, let's have the uh, cable number as next three. Okay, we'll just again update the same same data from the drawing and uh, and also let's run the connection report once more. And now we can see that the cable numbers have been updated. The uh, all the devices have the the ID here, and I'm 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 pretty happy with that 